एम एस वन यूनिट ट्वेल्व टॉपिक फोर इट मीन्स ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फोर फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंसिंग द चॉइस ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर एज अ मैनेजर इट इज योर जॉब टू डिजाइन अ स्ट्रक्चर दैट विल बेस्ट सूट द स्पेसिफिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डिजाइनिंग एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर is a continuous process that seems to be ideal design today may tomorrow prove to be totally in ineffective it is your task as a manager to be continually improving the structure of your organization any change in the factor which impinges upon the design of an organization will necessitate a change in the structure to suit the new conditions impact of environment the first factor affecting the design of your organization structure is the environment an organization is continuously interacting with its environment in terms of drawing inputs from it and providing it is output providing it its output All organizations operate within an environment which comprises economics, social, culture, political, and legal subsystem. A change in any of these subsystems may force you change the design of your structure. Change in government regulations regarding foreign equity participation in India made it imperative. for the most foreign owned companies to dilute their holdings and become more national in character increasing awareness about personal rights and social pressure on maintaining the natural state of environment have forced many companies to set up personal welfare departments and install expensive equipment to neutralize the toxic influence generated in their manufacturing processes you might have noticed that bank have instituted a process by which public complaints can be tackled at the highest level some of the bank managers and chairmen even set aside specific timing then we they give a personal hearing to individual grievances business organizations are very much in the public eye today generally speaking the more if responsive your organization is to the change in the environment the more favorable will be its public image and greater the chances of its survival and success you have not only to ensure that appropriate changes are made but equally important these changes must be perceived by both the public and the government impact of technology the second factor affecting the structure of your organization is the technology that you have adopted to begin with each pair of shoes was made by a single cobbler who probably spent 4 to 5 days on the entire process with the concept of specialization and division of work organization instead of being designed around individual craftsmen were structured on the basis of different people doing only a specialized part of the entire process of shoe making This concept was further refined with the introduction of automation and assembly lines now with the introduction of computerization and robots new structural designs are once again emerging entire plants are made by a single operator who controls the operations through computers major humans inputs are needed in designing computer controls and software rather than in performing repetitive jobs these technology changes affect not only the large firms but also the smaller ones in india in a large number of medium and small scale companies simple routine functions such as 
preparing payroll invoicing and lesser maintenance have been computerized such small changes also necessitate redefining jobs and redesigning existing departments to suit the new technological process today the greatest impact of technology is on the manner in which people collect receive and use information in many companies full fledged management information system departments have been set up in response to the explosion in information technology impact of psychological characteristics the changing psychological characteristics of the workers is the third factor impinging upon the design of the organization structure greater demand for lesser time led to the introduction of the five and in some places even the four days week our country has also recently adopted the five days week greater awareness about worker rights and use of more militants means to earn those rights have led to the widespread in for widespread formation of trade unions in always every organization some companies have had to redesign their structure in order to give a formal recognition to the unions the three factors that we have discussed so far are external to the organization and its management however there are some attitudes and values of the management which have a critical bearing on the structure of an organization most important of these are the management's attitude towards the issues of decentralization and delegation of authority and the role of function of line and staff personnel also affecting the organization structure are the scalar principle and span of control